Morning everybody, Chris here. What we're going to go over today is how to set up a development environment on a PC using WAMP server. Now if you don't have WAMP server, go ahead and navigate to the site. I'll leave the site address in the description. Download, install it, then come back to the video. If you have WAMP server already installed, then let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the system tray, go into Apache, and open the HTTP D config. Control F and look for virtual host. Search for virtual host. So we'll just scroll down and just keep going. I think we missed it. We did miss it because it's here. It is right here. We'll scroll through and look for it. Here it is. On well, virtual hosts, I typed it wrong. Sorry. So you scroll down to virtual hosts here, and by default it's going to have the number sign, so it's going to be turned off. So what you want to do is just delete that number sign, pound sign, and save it. Next we're going to open, file, open, and I'm already in my WAMP directory, so you would just go to WAMP bin Apache Apache 2.2 configuration extra then select all files what we're going to do in here <coughs> excuse me is right click on this and open actually we don't have to do that because we're already in the bed so this is your virtual host file that you just unlocked in the HTTP config file I already have mine with a lot of different virtual host sites. So we're going to add another one. So we're going to take virtual sorry host can't type today where is it? 80 document root <clears throat> now, we haven't created a root yet, so I'm going to go ahead and open my WAMP folder, navigate www, and create a new folder and call it dev. Now, just name it tutorial and enter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this. And go ahead and copy the path and paste it in. There. Hit enter. Now, this is where you're going to give it the name that you want. So, server name, and I'm going to use tutorial.dev to signify that it's in the development environment. I could just as easily tutorial.com tutorial.org or any other extent any other HTML extension but I'm going to use dev next I'm just going to close off the virtual host since this is all in X, uh, XML looks right except for there's L so File, save, now it's saved. Now, you want to close Notepad, go back into Notepad and run it as administrator. Because <coughs> we're going to be needing administrator rights for this. So we're going to open, scroll down to localhost on C, scroll down to Windows, scroll down to System32, drivers, etc. 
and show all files. What we're going to be wanting is this file right here, the host file. And here it is. Now, you can see that I have plenty of other development sites on here. We're just going to add one. So, 127.0.0.1 is the physical address of your local host, local host, which is your machine. So, what we're going to tell it to do is everything when we put it into our browser, tutorial dot dev this is telling the computer to resolve all to all calls to tutorial dot dev to the local host which is 127.0.0.1 normally if you didn't do this you just have to type localhost into your as your URL and then the name of the folder this we can just we'll just be able to type tutorial dot dev it's a lot cleaner and a lot easier so I'm going to save this close it. I'm going to go back into my folder. Okay, new file. New text document. And we'll call it index. Actually, let me rename it. It doesn't matter. We'll just open it with Sublime. So we're going to open it with Sublime text. So, Now I'm just going to back out. And instead of opening that, I'm going to drag the folder into Sublime. So I'm done with that. I can open the tutorial. I can rename this to index.php. Erase the text. Open this up a little bit more. So I haven't changed it to PHP yet. So control s and I didn't save it that's the problem so now close it open the PHP file HTML5 document type and tutorial just throw in h1 save. We'll go ahead and open Chrome. And if all goes well, we should be able to go to tutorial dot dev. Actually, before we do this, let's go ahead and restart our server. So we're just going to restart all services. Here we go and hit enter. Up here it's going to say, do you mean to go to tutorial.dev? Yes, that's where we want to go. And there we are. We are now set up to run in a development environment on Windows. Now, what can we do with this? It's pretty simple. Uh, let's just go ahead and we'll drag in. Open a file. Have a pre set up Laravel framework so we're going to just kind of copy copy this go on the WAMP go into the tutorial delete this and paste in all of our Laravel files so Laravel is in there we can close this we can close it now if we hit refresh, it doesn't do anything. And why not? Because we have to change where the vhost file is pointing to. So let's go into vhosts. Alright, localhost, WAMP, bin, Apache, config extra vhosts we're going to open we add it with notepad plus plus and I have it on a separate screen because I'm using two screens so I'll drag it all over there 
and we're going to go down here and we're going to just append the public folder like so control s to save it and a refresh actually back up here and we go to tutorial.dev again it should work actually we have to restart the server so anytime you make any changes to the virtual host file you have to restart the server so server is restarted tutorial.dev and here we are this is Laravel's default page before you start developing anything. We can also install WordPress in the same way as we did Laravel. Except the only other thing you have to do for WordPress is you have to set up a database. So we'll walk through that now. I don't have WordPress on my machine, so we'll go to WordPress. We'll download the latest version. and we're waiting for it to download and it looks like it's downloaded already so show in folder I minimize that bring that over here I'm gonna take everything out of here Copy it. Go into the localhost. WAMP. W sorry. www. Tutorial. And delete all these. Now I'm going to paste the WordPress files into there. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and go into. Let's wait and go ahead and look, wait for it to get done. Actually, we can do it. Maybe. Apache. Apache 2.2. Config. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the public. Edit the vhost file again to take that public out of there. So, I'm going to edit with Notepad++. Give it a public. Control S to save. File is done downloading. Restart the server. Server is not restarted yet. So it looks like we might have a problem with that vhost file, so let's go ahead and open it. Back into WAMP. Bin, Apache, config, extra, all files. There, we had the trailing hash mark, which we don't need. Wimp, install all services. And there we go. Now, if we hit enter again, here's our WordPress configuration. So, we create a configuration file. Let's go ahead and go. WordPress name, database name is going to be WordPress. So, we can go ahead and create that database. Go to PHP My Admin. We're going to create a new database called WordPress. Create. We're done with PHP and My Admin. We will go back to WordPress. Get rid of this. Username is going to be root because we didn't change it. Password is none. Database host is localhost. 
and we will submit and run the install we'll just name it tutorial so I keep can't type today how you spot tutorial there it is my brain's just type in a quick password week just use something generic you at you dot com <coughs> and install it and now it's installing everything and there we go so I'll log in And there we go. So we have a fully functioning installation of WordPress on our site. As you can see. We can also go ahead and choose a theme. So let's we also download themes. I'm going to install theme and finding themes just like you would on the internet. So I'm going to find one. Here's Catchbox. I'll go ahead and install this. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. It's now installed. It's activated. Tutorial. Open link in a new tab. And there we go. So that's how to set up a development environment on your PC to use to develop with PHP, Laravel, or WordPress. If this video helped you, I invite you to subscribe, like, share, click on the ads, and support us so we can bring you more videos for development, gameplay, Android videos. and news. Thanks.